So I tell the guy, no, that's not where the left ventricle is. This is. <laughs> Come on. You're pretty funny, Blake. Thank you. Most people don't pick up on that. You know, I, I normally don't date guys with a real sense of humor. Real sense of humor? Yeah, I'm usually drawn to more of the meathead type. You know, guys that think that getting hit in the balls is the height of sophisticated comedy. Yeah, I know a few guys like that. I'm glad I decided to take a chance. Uh, thanks? Oh, come on, don't be like that. I'm having a really good time. Let's... Me too. I'm really excited to see this movie. Are you a big Bay fan? Uh, he's okay. Mm -hmm. I find that he uses action to drive the development of the film a lot more than any actual character development. Like the whole giant fighting robots thing is growing a little tired, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, but I mean, you don't go to movies like this for character development. And why not? Is there a rule somewhere that says if the budget is over a hundred million dollars, he can't have any relatable characters? I think so. Yep. Sorry. I did not mean to start an argument. I can get a little heated when talking about film sometimes. <laughs> that's, um, that's okay, me too. It's a good thing. Um, uh, I gotta hit the bathroom. Okay. But I'll be back before the trailer starts. God damn it, Lucius. I told you not to call me tonight. What is so important you want to interrupt me? What? No, he's got my back when no one else does. And there's not too many people I can say that about. Still, I'm impressed at how well he's put up with you guys. To be honest, you can be pretty rough on him sometimes. Look, every group has that guy that gets his balls busted. <laughs> That's Blake. Maybe he gets his teeth in every once in a while. That's too bad, guy. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, read right this way. And I'll, uh, just get you to a couple of menus. Huh. This place is neat. How'd you hear about it? Well... I don't know. I mean, I'm leery of taking someone to a place I've never been to for a first date. I mean, what if I need to make a quick exit and I wind up in a broom closet? Trust us. Henry's has been on SF Weekly's hottest places to eat for three years running, man. I'm shocked he even knows what the weekly is. <clears throat> I told you it can be civilized the time. Also, I took that big titted redhead there the other night. Needless to say, she wobbled home after I was done. And there we go. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh yeah, I was full on Andrew Lincoln. I've got a bottle full of Viagra and this is the fucking dead. My Colt Python is out and there's so much pussy needing to be fucked that it swarms me like a fucking horny pussy whore. Wait a minute, Wait, don't you mean Abraham Lincoln? Bro, get your walking dead back straight, bro. It's Andrew. No, Andrew Lincoln freed the slaves. Abraham Lincoln slayed vampires. <laughs> Seriously? It was like there was so much pussy coming from all directions that I had to fuck my way out of there or else it was going to eat me alive. <laughs> oh no, there's so much pussy. It'll rip you apart if you don't fuck it first. <clears throat> you realize it's your fault that we hang out with these people. Isn't Henry's that really good craft beer place we went to with Remy and Logan last yeah, week? Yeah, I think so. The SF Weekly was having their craft beer month and you just had to try the put some order into your porter. That was an awful name, but it was amazing. Ugh, I'm telling you, man, if you take her there, it'll be just like that San Andreas movie. You'll be the rock fighting the tidal wave, except it's a tidal wave of pussy juice and you're drowning in that bitch. You'll be like, oh no, I'm drowning, there's so much pussy. Help, where's my snorkel? Oh. I must say, Ben, that's quite the persuasive argument. Fucking dead! <laughs> Don't insert it. <laughs> it's a fucking pussy nami! <laughs> It came highly recommended. Oh.